Did you girls know that Alaska is the only state name that you can type on one row of a keyboard? Really? On your computer, you know all the buttons? Yeah. Those are keys. Yeah. So, on the middle row, you can spell Alaska. And all the letters are on that row. <laughs> And today, it's Alaska! That's right, girls. It's Alaska. It's our second state in our alphabetical list. Our first state was Alabama, and now we're doing Alaska. Do you know what Alaska's motto is? It's not their nickname, their motto. Do you, do you, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you what their motto is, and you tell me if you like it. Their motto is, North Ooh. to the future. North to the future! North! That, that kind of seems like something an astronaut would say or something. I agree. I like it a lot. North to the future! It's better than a lot of the other state mottos, I think. Uh, for example, Illinois' state motto is State Sovereignty National Union. And then if, uh, Tennessee's, nothing against Tennessee or Illinois, but Tennessee is agriculture and commerce. Oh. And then uh, Rhode Island, it's just one word, hope. At least it's a word I understand. Yeah. I think, I think if you add... Hope to the future! Right! I was going to say exactly that. If you add to the future or in the future to anything, it makes it sound more exciting. So if it was agriculture and commerce to the, the future. future! There should be a law. For every state in the United States, their motto has to end in to the future! So do you guys have an idea why it would be called Land of the Midnight Sun? <laughs> <laughs> why? The moon is kind of like the sun at night there. Maybe? How? Because it's bright, it makes light. Well, Alaska is partly in the Arctic Circle, and that means it actually does have the sun at midnight. The sun will stay up 24 hours a day for at least part of the year. And then part of the year, you'll have nighttime. The reason the, you don't get any light when you're in the Arctic Circle has to do with the tilt of the Earth. And when it's tilted away from the sun, it's always dark in the winter time, and when it's tilted toward the sun, it it's, light. it's always light. What do you think of that? Would you like to live there? Probably during the daytime part, because... So in the summer? Yeah, because um, it you can always shut the blinds or close the door and turn off all the lights so that it's kind of like it's dark. The state quarter has a lot of symbols uh, of the state of Alaska. What do you see on there, Gabrielle? A bear mm -hmm. eating a fish. A bear eating a fish. You know what kind of fish that is? Salmon. Good job. It's a salmon. That's right. Um, and it says the great land on there, which is, as we know, that's what Alaska it's means. Name. That's its name. That's what, that's what Alaska is. And, um, and there's one star at the top, and that's the North Star because Alaska is in the far, far north. I don't know why a bear is on the coin, but I like the bear. Well, I'll tell you one reason the bear is on the coin. Alaska has 70% of all brown bears in North America, and there's one island that uh, has more bears per square mile than anywhere else on Earth. Alaska also has black bears and- Polar bears? Polar bears. Did you know black bears are not all black? Uh, some are uh, cinnamon color, and others even have a bluish shade. Did you know that um, polar bears' skin is actually black? The polar bear's skin is black? Yeah. And just the fur is white? Yeah. Fun fact about polar bears. I yeah. love it. So here's the Alaskan state flag. Uh, what do you think of the flag? Um, I thought it, it has the... One of the dippers on it and the North Star. Right, it's got the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is actually part of the constellation Ursa Major. Ursa means bear, so the big bear. The big so again, more bear. bear more bear symbolism for Alaska. A bear is a symbol of strength. So, so 
Strong. Yeah, strong like you, Elise. <laughs> do you know who designed this flag? Who do you think designed this flag? A salmon. No, a, a salmon did not design the flag, although that would be pretty amazing. Oh. Actually, a 13-year-old boy, Benny Benson, designed the flag of Alaska. It wasn't a state yet. He designed it in 1927, I believe, uh, as part of a contest. He won $1,000 for winning uh, the competition. And when Alaska became a state, uh, they adopted this as the official state flag. Benny Benson, maker of Alaska's flag at 13. So Alaska, it's the biggest state by far, girls. It is 17% of the United States. Texas, which is the next biggest state, is only 7%. So where is Alaska? It's the northernmost state. It's between Canada and Russia. And part of it is in the Arctic Circle. So although Alaska is the largest state, less than 1% of America's population actually lives in America's biggest state. If you were to spread out all the people in Alaska so that they were equally spread out from each other, you'd have one person every square mile. So if everybody was in the middle of their own square mile and you yelled to your friend that was in the just in the square mile next to you, they still wouldn't be able to hear it. Alaska was one of the last states to join the union. It's the second to last state. Do you know what the last state was? Hawaii? Yeah, it was Hawaii. Good job, Gabrielle. So Alaska was first settled by Russians, but then they decided to sell Alaska to the United States. They sold a country? They sold a territory. They sold a chunk of land to the United States. They said, we don't really want to Settle here anymore? Did they give them money? They did. How much do you think Russia sold uh, Alaska to the United States for? Wait, um, can you give us a hint? I'll give you three numbers. $700, $7 million, or $700 million. $7 million. You say $7 million, what do you say, Elise? Mm, I'm going with her. You're both saying $7 million? Yeah. You're both right! It was actually a little bit more than that, $7.2 million. There was a lot of people who thought that was too much money to spend for some big, frozen, open space. I would think that would be enough. It turned out to be a good deal because they found gold in Alaska, oil in Alaska. It's got a lot of richness underground. Yeah, so if you go over there and then you start just digging for gold, will you find gold? I don't think it's that easy. During the gold rush, in 1896, potatoes were so valuable for their vitamins, vitamin C, that people would trade uh, bits of gold for potato. Oh my god. I know. If you ever have some gold girls, don't trade it for potatoes. As even yeah, you guys, whoever's watching this, if you have gold, don't trade it for a potato. You know what else Alaska has that other, uh, other places in the United States don't have? What? Glaciers. It's got, oh. it, Alaska has more glaciers than anywhere else in the world. Another thing Alaska has, Northern Lights. All right, time for some fast facts. The capital is Juno. The largest city is Anchorage. Almost half the people live there. Another big city is Fairbanks. And the capital, Juno, is not connected by roads to the rest of the state. You actually have to take a plane or a ferry to get to Juneau. It's a ferry. Not a flying ferry, a boat <laughs> ferry. Major industry, oil and gas extraction. The biggest island, Kodiak Island. Highest point, Denali. Yep, Denali at 6,190 meters tall. It's the tallest mountain in North America. That's uh, over 20,000 feet tall. That's high. Largest lake, Ileana Lake. Right, it's about the size of Connecticut. State fish, giant king salmon. State flower, forget me not. Alaska has no plants poisonous to the touch. But you know what they do have? What? Summertime, oh, they got lots of mosquitoes. Well, that's better than getting poison ivy. Yeah. Would you rather... Have one bee sting or ten mosquito bites. Or more. One bee sting or ten mosquito bites. That's a good question for the audience to answer. I've only got one by my foot. I did not cry at all. Well, that's just because you're tough. 
I'm a tough cookie, that's what my mom says. State marine mammal, bowhead whale. And that one's endangered, so let's all take care of the bowhead whale. State land mammal, moose. I'm going to give you three uh, possible state sports. You tell me which one you think is the actual state sport of Alaska. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, so is it uh, basketball? Is it badminton? Or is it uh, dog sledding, dog mushing? Dog mushing. Oh, God, you got it. We hope you learned a lot about Alaska in this video and had a lot of fun. Our next state, our third state, is Arizona. And now for some shout outs. We'd like to thank three young viewers, Madeline and Max and Claire from, from Florida. Florida. Be sure to tell us about your home state when we get to it, guys. And thank you so much for being such supportive viewers. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next week with a new video. The most important piece in our puzzle is you. Be sure to like. Tell us what you think. And share us with your friends. And of course, subscribe.